The HTML5-based vSphere client lets you create roles with customized sets of privileges to suit the access control needs of your environment and assign the roles to objects in your vSphere inventory. This video shows you how to create a role and assign that role to an object in your vSphere inventory. Log into the vSphere client. Click Administration and select Roles in the Access Control area. Select a vCenter server instance from the drop-down menu and click the Create Role button. Choose from the categories of privileges you want to assign to the role. In this example, we select all the data center operations privileges to assign to a role. Type a unique name and description and click Finish. You can now assign permissions by selecting an object in your vSphere inventory and assigning the role to a user or group for that object. Select an object in the vSphere Client Object Navigator, click the Permissions tab, and click Add Permission. From the User drop-down, select the domain for the user or group. Enter a username or group name in the Search field and select the user or group. Select a role from the Role drop-down menu. To propagate permissions to child objects, select the Propagate to Children checkbox. Click OK. The permission you added displays in the Permissions tab. In addition to assigning permissions to individual objects, you can assign global permissions. Global permissions let you give a user or group privileges for all objects in all inventory hierarchies in your vSphere environment. To assign a global permission, click Administration and select Global Permissions in the Access Control area. Click Add Permission. Complete the Add Permissions dialog box as previously demonstrated. Decide whether to leave the Propagate to Children checkbox selected. If you assign a global permission and do not select Propagate to Children, the users or groups associated with this permission do not have access to the objects in the hierarchy. They only have access to some global functionality such as creating roles. To learn more about using the HTML5-based vSphere client to manage permissions and roles in your vSphere environment, see the VMware vSphere security guide at docs.vmware.com.